okay, I don't hate this. Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. Now, by now you will have seen my very unsatisfying video <laughs> of the Barbie color reveal and peel, Barbie color reveal peel, I don't even know what it's called. But so I discovered also that, so looking very similar, so now I want you to be really careful if you see these on store shelves, because they look exactly alike, don't they? Don't they look the same? Except for here's the thing. This one is, it's got a drop of water and I believe it's got the peely body that you peel off. And this one has the water and appears to be what we are used to. I could be wrong about this, so I'm gonna open this one first, but I have a feeling that this is not the satisfying, um, oh, see, there is no drop of water. There's no drop of water. There's no water. There's no water. This is just a lean peel thing. But I do want to see what this doll is like because they look like they're very similar to these dolls, which I really dig. I really like these dolls um, with the ponytails. I think they're really, really cute. I actually, and so, and these are the ones that we could get here. So it looks like it's like another generation of those. Like she looks particularly cute in her, but without the water. Now it does say water reveal. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know, but we're gonna find out together, okay? So um, so I don't know if we're gonna need really relaxing music or not, because I did not find it relaxing. <laughs> we were peeling that stuff off that other doll, quite honestly. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I'm unscrewed. So it comes in the canister. I mean, maybe we still dunk her in water. I don't know. I can't unscrew the canister though. Mm! Mm. Okay. Cone of shame. She's still, you know, wrapped up here. Okay. And then here's our, our additional items. Okay. And then let's look at our color reveal. Okay. And so there's Chelsea's that go along with this as well. Uh oh. Okay. And, and pets. All right. I'm trying to open this. Okay. So for these, these are for ages three and up. Okay. So. It's still, all right, okay, there's still water. Whew. It looks like we're still gonna get the water. And look, look at the swirl. Okay, so we're still gonna get the swirl. All right, okay, I'm down with it. I'm good for this. All right. Ooh, boy, I was worried. I thought we were gonna have to peel this baby and I was not happy. Not happy at all. Okay, so let's get this over here. Let's get my, I just happen to have some water handy. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> oh, we'll have to cue the cool music and everything. All right, let's get her out of the bag. Oh, I'm so relieved because I really thought we were gonna have to peel stuff off of her. I really don't like the peeling. Oh, but. It's flaking. It's not metallic. It's white and purple. What if it sucks? <laughs> this is my. Please don't suck. Please don't suck. That was me right when they announced the Monster High thing. I was like, please don't suck. All right. I guess, cue the cool music? I don't know. All right, here we go. It's white. Ooh. Okay, I mean, it's cool. It's like white smoke. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, it's still cool. It's just not very metallic, but it actually, it is very cool. Ooh, all right, I'm liking the white. Oh, wow liking this way more than I expected. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Okay, somebody really did think about this. Okay, I wonder what happens when we get to the top and the purple part gets in there. 
Oh, I bet this, I bet, I bet the smoke changes color. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Are you seeing this? Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. All right, now I've just started to put the top in where the purple is. And I'm just gonna submerge that completely and let's see what starts to happen. This was an interesting approach. Interesting. Oh, we got a redhead. Okay, I don't hate this. I was so prepared to hate this, but I don't hate it. That's so pretty. That's very pretty. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's spin her around. I miss the glitter. I will say I miss the glitter. Wait, my hands off. My hands off. Try to like spin it around. I mean, it's not as cool as when it's got the metallic in it. But it does turn a pretty color lavender. I don't know if I would keep this though. But it is cool. And I wonder if it does different colors. Oh, there goes my my sump pump, sorry. Oh, I absolutely have no towel whatsoever. Oh, that was badly done, badly done, okay. Okay, yeah. She's dripping a lot. There is much dripping, so much dripping. Okay, wow, that's a lot of dripping. I mean, she's still dripping, guys. All right, I'm just gonna dunk her in head first because she's still got purple all over her head. And she's got some white on her hiney. Making, making drowning noises. <laughs> oh, I gotta get in. And then she's got the hole in her head for the ponytail. So you have to allow for that. Okay, I need to get a towel. I forgot, I totally forgot. And I need to get ice water. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have acquired some paper towels. By the way, I don't know if you can get these on Amazon. If you can, I will link them. These are called Babo paper towels. They're made of 100% unbleached bamboo. They work pretty darn well. They work like as well as like a, you know, kind of mid-range, um, mid mid-range paper towel. You know, I mean, like they're not like super like super absorbent like Bounty or brawny or whatever. She's still got some paint on her um, here and there, but uh, cause I let it dry while I went in search of ice water, <laughs> grabbed a quick yogurt cause I was hungry um, and then went in search of. So, um, but we're trying really hard to uh, just use more sustainable stuff around the house. And um, so Bill found those and, and I was like, oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so there's still some, there's still a little bit right here on her chest. Uh, there we go, okay. Um, all right, so this is interesting. Oh, now now I just just got white gunk all over me because there's white gunk coming out of her parts here. Okay, she's still got, her booty's still very white, excuse me. Uh, uh, just need to clean her off a little bit, okay. So I am very, very happy that these do something. I like what they do. We're going to do a metallic one as well, so you can see the difference, but I don't hate these. And uh, I think parents, they definitely are, uh, definitely are a good, um, a good, good thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I was so worried that they were gonna be like that other abomination that I opened. Like I was like legit worried. Barbie color reveal doll. So this is called, 
So this is the latest version. This is called just Barbie color reveal doll with seven surprises. Um, it is $14.99 on Amazon. I will put a link down below. Um, see, I saw that the two color thing and I thought, oh no, oh no, it's gonna be that peel thing. Um, and I really didn't like that. So I'm very happy about that. Also, I will put a link down below. This, um, this manicure that I'm currently sporting, I am in love with. Um, it's the, um, Impress um, by by Kiss Cosmetics or Kiss Nails, who actually Kiss happens to be. Kiss Products. Um, they're one of my husband's clients. Um, these are press-on nails. They have just like the glue tape like on the back of the nail and you just press it on. They're $9.99, okay? These will last me all week. I had a set on that I wore for two weeks. Um, these are, I mean, and I love this. I love, love, love. And so it comes with the red nails and then the accent nails. Um, you can get sets that are all one color, but a lot of them have accent nails and they're very, very cool. And they're $9.99. I'll put a link down below to that. Um, okay, let's take a look at this doll. I love her before we even do anything. I love her. So she's a redhead and I'm loving that she can opt to go with the pixie because I think a pixie cut is always a good option. She's still got, a, I've still got a little paint in her hair. And then she's got freckles. How cute is she? And then she's got what I think is amazing is how her outfit and my nails kind of go together. Like if this were hound's tooth instead of polka dots, or if that was polka dots instead of hound's tooth, come on. It's like we planned it. Hello. Um, wow. She's so cute. So let's see what her surprises are in her bags. Um, so parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls for kids. Um, these are really, really fun. It is a water toy, so you're going to want to do it, um, you know, in the kitchen or whatever. I think there's a homeschool opportunity here to talk about um, colloidal suspension. Um, and if you have to look that up, go right ahead. Um, and... Uh, so she's got this little houndstooth skirt. I'm digging this doll a lot. These dolls are made out of a different kind of plastic than standard Barbie dolls. It's a hard, shiny plastic because of the whole water thing, which makes these great Barbie dolls for younger kids. You can throw these all over the place. You can play with them in the snow. You can get them all dirty and hose them off. They make great bath Barbies. These are excellent play Barbies. They're not articulated at all. They've got like, you know, the clothes are permanently, you know, like these legs are gonna be red, but they are super playable. And that to me is very important in, in a doll. Um, cause we had some, I mean, cause Caden used to take the dolls outside. Oh, look at how long the hair is. <gasps> Um, we had some Barbies and they, they were good. They were, they were Barbie fashionistas, like the, the old fashionistas, the really good ones. And Caden, you know, took them outside. So there's a little peg right here back your parents used to get in. Um, and it's like, on, it's a little side pony, which is so cute. Oh, look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. So there's like this little braid going to the side pony. That is so cute. Look how cute she is. I love her. I think she's really adorable. Oh, I love her. And yeah, so those Barbie fashionistas got destroyed, destroyed, like dirt on the joints and the dirt like gets in the rubber of the, of the, the, the skin and like their clothes were destroyed. Their hair was all nastified. I mean, you know, so like, you know what I'm talking about. You got your outdoor Barbies, you got your indoor Barbies. One of the things that Caden did, and he felt really, really bad, but I was like, hey, okay, we just know to be careful and not do that again, um, is when he got uh, some Monster High dolls early on, and he went, he took them outside to play with, because he always used to take his dolls with him to play. And he took his his Monster High dolls outside. I mean, I swear, they'd been out of this, this Claudine had been out of the box maybe like 20 minutes. And he took her outside and he was playing on the swing set and slide and everything. And he came in and neither one of her hands was there. And he was just like, I don't know. We were like looking through the grass. We never found those hands. But back in the day, uh, you used to be able to like write to Mattel. My husband figured it out and they would send you replacement hands and arms. So we ended up with like all these bags of replacement hands and stuff because they used to fall off quite regularly. She's got red stiletto shoes, which are exactly the same color as her 
tights, which is what I'm calling these. Red with red. I am liking this. I love red and black together. Like my diner in Animal Crossing is definitely going to be a red and black themed diner. Definitely. Definitely. I just don't have the right wall yet. Ooh, she's got earrings. She's got dangly red earrings. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh. All right. Now we're going to show you what happens with the cold water. They didn't give me a sponge. Are you serious? I think I threw out the sponge from the other one. All righty. So supposedly the cold water um, changes her shirt and her makeup. Okay. So I am going to put her here and I'm going to dip my fingers in some ice water and go like this. Ooh. Oh, and that's cool. Cause it doesn't, it only does some of the, uh, some of the, oh, that's cool. Now let's do her face. Hello. There's her face. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now she's got, no, nope. yeah. Oh, I like it. She's got some eyeshadow now and she's got pretty lips that go beautifully with her hair. Look at how nice her freckles stand out. Oh, she's so pretty. She is so pretty. And I think she's got like brown hazel eyes. That's beautiful. I love it when, when, when they do redheads with brown or hazel eyes because you know, not every redhead has blue or green eyes. Many of them have brown eyes. My son has brown eyes. Um, and my, my mother-in-law had brown eyes. She's adorable. She's a keeper. She's definitely a keeper. Keeping, 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 keeping. Look at her with her earrings. All right, I need to go get some warm water so we can do the other one, which is a Barbie color reveal with the metallic paint so you can see the difference. Oops, oops, knocking stuff over. I will be back. Oh. I just grabbed the thing with the liquid in it. Like it didn't have liquid in it and almost just knocked it all over the studio. Oh boy. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So that was really cool. But now I want to show you the metallic series. So you will look for something that looks like this. You see how it's got the sparkles that is to indicate that this paint is metallic. And these two packages are very similar. They just have different color lids. One's got a purple color lid and one's got a pink color lid. Um, the metallic ones just, you'll see, they just look way cooler, way, way cooler. So what you get, and these are also $14.99 and I'll link these below as well. You get the cylinder, which is, you can use it for a bunch of different things. It's not food grade plastic as people pointed out, but it's great for paint brushes, makeup brushes. Um, just like it's handy, you know? I mean, it's a good size cylinder with a lid you can put back on. I mean, there's so many things you could do with it. So I'm all about like, you know, reusable stuff. And then you get the doll and you get your surprises. Now, uh, this one, these also have like the ponytail thing and um, they're really, really cute. So let me get her out of the bag. And these have been honestly my favorite so far because I really like the dolls. So you see, she is covered in a pinkish, purple, lavenderish, mauve-ish metallic paint, which makes for a really beautiful experience. So I am going to move the surprises out of the way here. And I'm gonna put this up here like so. And I have to kind of stay behind it because against the pink wall, you can't really see it. All right, I'm gonna cue the relaxing music. I find this whole process to be very relaxing. Are you ready? Here we go. Relaxing music. This water isn't very warm, by the way, so this might take longer. There it goes. The warmer the water, the faster the paint comes off. This water was kind of lukewarm, but it's cool because we're gonna get a slower, we're gonna get a slower thing. Isn't that pretty? <sighs> I love to watch these videos. Like I love lava lamps. I think lava lamps are very relaxing. 
So watching this is very relaxing to me. Look at that. Little to the side. And so you can see when you have the metallic paint, you get more definition to the swirls because of the light reflection as opposed to the other paint, which was really cool because it was just like white clouds. But this is very cool. I gotta get her arms out of the way. Whoop, there she goes. Okay, we're gonna slowly lower her more. You see how it falls? So like I said, I mean, this is a great opportunity to talk to kids about how solids and, and water, you know, solids and liquids and you know, don't make it too boring, but, you know, also make it kind of fun. Oh, I think I have this one already. Okay, put her all the way in now. Whoops, you can hear her head gurgling. See, and this is like pink swirly instead of blue swirly. Ooh, I love to do this. Isn't that awesome? I just think this is so cool. It's just so fun. And I will show you, parents, you can keep this liquid. And um, I had many, many, I think I had like 20. Do I have, oh no, I don't have this one right here. Like, I think I had about 20 of these that I kept. And then I just, just recently had to kind of uh, Marie Kondo my, um, my studio and filming area, which meant that I had to let go of a lot of things. Um, I need to just flip her over and get her head. Um, so yeah, so this is a water toy, so make sure you have towels or paper towels. Do it in the kitchen or the bathroom. Um, they're really fun and, oops, just making a mess. I just, gurgle, 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 poor girl. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Um, I don't remember what I was just saying other than that this is, you know, it's a water toy. There she is. Um, and, oh yeah, so you can use, you can keep this, this, and it will settle, the particulate will settle, and then you can, you can stir it up again. So again, I think that's a really good, like, homeschool lesson, and I will show you that in a moment. Look at this. I can just sit there and look at that forever. It's so relaxing, so relaxing. So this is the first one. So this ends up blending into sort of a lavender milky fluid. And then on the metallic, this is what you have. I'm curious to see what this looks like when it settles. Now we are going to see what her surprises are. And, and then we're gonna dress her up and see what she does with the cold water. One second, I need to just check. I'm texting with my my nephew is trying. My, my nephew's dog passed away. My nephew, oh, Donner passed away recently, and uh, so here she is. Um, and my nephew's home. He he works from home, and he has two cats. But you know, it's not the same as a dog. And if you're a dog person, um, you know, and dogs dogs help people stay motivated. They're really good companions. And I'm a cat person. But um, I think if you live alone, a dog is a really, really great. So she's got a, just a long straight ponytail, but similar thing with the braid on the side. And then we get the side pony. So you just stick that in the back of her head. Voila, instant hair. I kind of wish I could do that. Like just make a ponytail, <laughs> like instantly have long hair. Um, I just, wigs give me a headache, you know, it's a whole thing. Um, so he's trying to adopt a new dog and, um, it's just not, he's just, it's just not working out yet. So. Oh, he's got a sparkly little skirt. Now these ones have like, um, they, because they have the metallic there, their clothes are also sparkly, but I do like this new line. Now I have to get more of those because I like the bold colors. So she's got her sparkle skirt and then let's see what else. Whoops. All right. Purple shoes. So... Yeah, so you they have you get the surprise, you get the, the water surprise, then you get the outfit, and then you know you get a doll that you can play with, and that you can throw across the backyard and have a good time, and you also get the color change stuff. So there's a lot 
I, I really dig these. Um, you know, I think, I know, and earrings, I know a lot of people were, oh, she's still got stuff under her nose. Um, they won Doll of the Year for the Toy of the Year Awards for the Toy Association. And a lot of people were really ticked off because also nominated were LOL OMG um, Remix, which was just an incredible doll launch, I think. Just everything, just that was incredible. Um, and Rainbow High, which amazing, you know. And these won, and I think that they should have been in a different category because I do believe that they should win something for being innovative and so much fun to play with. Like even after you do the whole surprise thing, they're still fun to play with. And sometimes with surprise dolls, that's not true. Sometimes you do the surprise um, portion of it and then you don't care anymore. This one is one of my favorites from this line. Um, she's got rainbow hair, everything rainbow, but she's really cute too. Lavender Girl is very cute. And let's take a closer look at her face. And now let's see what her face does when we put some cold water on it. Ooh. Nothing, really not much. I think it's just, I think it's just their shirts that do something on this line. Yeah, I think her, her bow just got darker. I don't think much, too much of anything happens with their makeup. Yeah. But she's very cute. She's adorable. And this girl is now officially my favorite Barbie color reveal doll. So. And, and I would love it if there were more metallic, but it's always nice to change things up and it was interesting to watch the two colors blend together. So I'm gonna order some more of those um, because I really like the doll that it came with. And uh, and we, so we will do some more Barbie color reveals because they're always very relaxing. I find them to be very relaxing and enjoyable. And until I see you again, you guys stay well. I love you so much. Bye.